In this video, I want to talk about the go-to object script step that's part of the FileMaker platform. Now this script step behaves a little bit differently between the FileMaker 15 and 16 releases. In fact, so much so that FileMaker has issued a warning on this a little bit to alert people to the behavior change. This also gives us a good opportunity to reinforce some fundamentals of scripting. And that is you need to do error capture with your script steps, especially the ones that have the potential of misbehaving. So for example, we've learned previously that if you do a find command, you trap for the errors and you check the errors to make sure that when you perform a find that you actually get some sort of found set. Same thing goes for when you try to go to a related record, you need to make sure that when you go to the related record that you actually are on a related record that it hasn't failed. Now the go to object script step allows you to target a named object on a layout and tell FileMaker to put focus on that object. So right here you see a quick sample file that we put together. We have three tab controls but these could be slide panels and this is really a basic demo. What I've done is I've gone into layout mode right here and I can select the various panels like this and I can come over here and see if I show the inspector and I hit the position panel at the top I've named this panel Fred if I click here I see I named it Sally I named this one Dick now the name and the tab there and the name up here happen to be the same they don't have to be the same so understand that the name could be Dick but it could be three for example or something else so what you see if we go back to browse mode is that uh, we can manually navigate but say you had a script and you wanted to say hey I need you to fill out some information in the Sally panel you could actually run a script step which I set up right here and this is a script called go to Sally and we use the script command go to object and we name the object so it could be anything in here but we have Sally if I actually run this and I say go to Sally then the system navigates to that object and so this object is in focus it is an active object it's in focus those two terms are synonymous very important so the behavior here between 15 and 16 is the same under all conditions except for one narrow situation I have a demo file which showcases this changed behavior so I'm gonna bring this up here and pop this open and what I want to do is pop open the FileMaker documentation page which talks about this issue. And so this page right here it pops up. This is a FileMaker's knowledge base and it's a basically a disclaimer saying hey this behavior has changed. Now you can read through this if you want but here is a short version of this. If you say go to object and an object is an element in the portal. So say for example we have this uh, portal right here and if we go here to the inspector we see this has B on it. If I click on here we see we have the A name right there. And so what happens is is that normally if we say go to object it's going to highlight that object and then we could use other commands to navigate to the very bottom portal row or the top portal row things like that. Well the behavior change between 15 and 16 is different right here. If I say go to this portal B right here and this portal doesn't have any records and it's also set to not auto create records in the relationship then the behavior of this script step changes right so normally you would assume that if you told it to go to object B it would make object B active right here even if there weren't any records in it etc and so what I want to show is that a uh, I want to show you the relationship real quick I'm gonna go to relationships I'm gonna show you that the portal a there's a basic relationship right here and it allows to create related records. I have a portal B right here. It's set to not allow created records. So that's one of the two criteria. So there's no related data and you cannot create new records. So if you tell the system to actually go and focus on this portal, it generates an error. It doesn't make that object active. Historically in 15, it made it active. So let's talk about this. Let me go through this. So I'm going to close it. I'm in 16 right now. I'm going to close it. I'm going to open this with 15. We're going to walk through this carefully. It's very educational uh, to check this out. So when we run this script right here, it's going to run these three commands like this. It's going to say go to object, go to portal row, 
and then delete the portal row. Now, logically, you would think, okay, what's well, going to go here? It's going to try to find a portal row. There won't be any. It'll try to run a delete. There won't be any. So basically, nothing happens. Historically, that has always been the behavior, right? In 16, the behavior changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, show the script debugger, right? So I'm going to bring the script debugger over here like this. I'm going to keep it pretty small. I'm also going to say, show the data viewer. And I'm going to keep that pretty small as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to have the system watch. And what I'm going to do is remove uh, these right here. And I'm going to say, add a new new expression. What we want to watch is the get, get the active layout object name, get active layout object name. So this tells us what the object is, uh, if I go over here, what the object name is. So if I click in over here, I've actually named that field. That field actually has a name called field in portal A. If I actually click over here into the portal row itself, I see I hit A, which is the name of the portal. Now it's kind of hard for me to click over in B right here, but we can do it with a script in FileMaker 15 and earlier versions. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, run this script right here. So we're going to run the script. It's going to begin the script. And notice right now I'm going to say refresh. And what this shows is that we don't have an active layout object right now. Now if I say run the next script, it knows down here it says that we are in B. So the focus or the active object is this B portal right here, right? So then if we step down again, we say that the record is missing, but since we're still in this portal, it's going to try to delete a related record. There is no related record, right? So it makes sense, works good. So that's 15. This has been the historic behavior of the 15 platform. Now I'm going to go ahead and quit entirely. I'm going to open this up with FileMaker 16. And what I want to do is again, show you the script debugger and the data viewer. And uh, we're gonna hit watch. And the data viewer uh, actually remembers what I was watching from 15, kind of interesting. So what we're gonna do is we have the same database here. I'm gonna go ahead and run the script right here. And it's going to uh, begin the script and everything's cool. Notice that we currently don't have an object here. Everything's good. And then we say, go to object. So we just execute that step. Notice at this point, it's the error 101. The record is missing. And so once again, the criteria for this is that we're trying to go to that portal, portal B. There are no related records and the relationship that drives the portal is set to not allow the automatic creation of related records. So we get error 101. Now notice right now, if I hit refresh values, that right here we're starting to see the difference. We have first we have the error and two, this go to object has failed to activate or put focus on portal B, right? So this is a behavior change. If I step down again, I say go to portal row. Now this really shows you the danger of the situation. The system could not activate this portal, right? And then we say go to portal row. Well, since it can't access this portal, it's gonna jump to the next portal it sees, right? Or the first one it sees. And so it's actually up here, in an area up here, and now it's going to run a delete record command. And in that process, it deletes a record out of a portal that we did not intend to delete. So basically the short version of this is that if you run this sequence of steps, you're gonna start deleting data that you don't wanna delete. Could be mission critical data. So what are the things to be aware of? Well, one of the fundamentals of all our training is that if you have an important script step that for any reason is likely to fail, you need to error trap after that script executes. So if we came back over here to our script workspace, we would actually come over here and we would probably put a little space in here and we would make sure at the top that set air capture on, right? That's the first thing we need. The second thing is we would say if, and then we would say get last error. Now normally you trap for a certain error, right? That's pretty common. However, in our situation, if go to object fails, it can generate a couple different errors. It can generate an error 116, it can generate an error 101. I couldn't even quote for you all the errors that might generate. So the easiest way to deal with that is we say, 
If the error condition is zero, there's no error. Once again, zero means no problems. So what I want to say is if it's not zero, then something bad happened. And then at this point, we would you know, show a message, show a dialogue, say that something bad happened, or maybe we just skipped the whole process, right? And then we could say else, it was fine, the situation is okay, and we can put these delete commands, etc., on the side of the error capture where there's no error. So over here, in this area right here, I would make a note, error, right? Some sort of error. And then down here, we have no error. So this is pretty basic, straightforward. It's a behavioral change. Now, when this came out, I said, oh, wow, we better check FM starting point to make sure we haven't done this. And we largely use go to object as a way of guiding someone visually on screen to drop them at a certain location. So there was like 70 references to go to object in FM starting point, And pretty much all of them have to do with dropping a user at a spot on a layout. For example, in our previous demo, we actually said go to a specific tab panel. We use it all the time for that. We don't really have to air trap for that because if it fails, the user won't go where we think they should go and the user will report a bug to us. So it's a situation where you want to test to make sure it works, but if it fails, it's not catastrophic. If you're actually building a script that deletes anything or it sets data or there's some sort of criticality going on, you absolutely have to air trap. So in starting point, you'll see a lot of these go to objects where we don't air trap because we're simply dropping the user at a location of convenience. If it fails, nothing bad happens. The user might have to navigate to a tab or something, but at the end of the day, nothing gets deleted, nothing bad happens. So once again, rules of the road. One, run error trapping on any important commands that are likely to fail. And two, be aware that go to object, if you target a portal and there are no related records in the portal and the relationship that drives the portal is set to not allow creation of related records, then you're going to get unexpected behavior.